November 3rd. Today we celebrate the translation of St. George's relics from Nicodemia to the city of Lida in Palestine, where he suffered in the time of the Emperor Diocletian. The sufferings of this most wonderful saint are recorded on April 23rd. At the time of his death, St. George asked his servant to take his body and carry it to Palestine, to the place where his mother was born, and where he had much land that he had given away to the poor. And his servant did this. In the time of the Emperor Constantine, a beautiful church was built in Lida by devout Christians. And on the occasion of the consecration of that church, the saints' holy relics were translated and buried there. Innumerable miracles have been wrought by the relics of St. George, Christ's great martyr. Blessings of God always, now and forever, in the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Thee, our God, glory to Thee. O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Liberator of captives, defender of the poor, Physician of the sick and champion of kings, O trophy bearer, great martyr George, intercede with Christ God, that our souls be saved. O thou who was born of the Virgin, drown thou, I pray thee, the three parts of my soul in the depths of this passion, as of old thou didst drown the mounted captains of Pharaoh, that in the mortality of my body, as on a tremble, I may chant a hymn of glory. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. With the fire of thy holy prayer, O saint, transform the distemper and listlessness of my mind, making it strong that I may acclaim thine old holy festival. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. Since thou art high and exalted above the many in both word and deed, O George, it is not possible to extol thy wondrous work for thou art an invincible wielder of supreme power and a mighty warrior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thine august contest in no wise comes within the scope of laudations, O athlete, for I am giddy and afraid 
I am at a loss and astonished even to touch in the least upon thy triumphs. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In giving birth to the Saviour of all, O gracious Lady, thou didst set a right our fall from life, for thou brought forth life, who by thine intercessions grants us all the forgiveness of sins. O Lord, who makes the thunder mighty and creates the wind, make me steadfast that I may sincerely hymn thee and do thy will. For there is none holy as thou, O God. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. Unable to abide seeing the fire of delusion raging, O saint, thou didst reprove the lawless like that fire beating zealot, saying, There is none other God than the Lord. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for when us. When he that came to cast the fire of the world on the whole world had set thy soul on fire, Thou didst in no wise conceal him, O blessed George, but didst ardently cry out, Christ is my steadfastness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Showing thee diverse tortures, O divinely wise, a tyrant suppose he would affright thine undaunted soul. But thou didst steadfastly cry out, Christ is my steadfastness. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Beholding thee as a great mountain, having its summit set above all the hills of the angelic orders, the prophet said, A virgin shall give birth in a manner free of blame. Holy, armed with the sign of the Saviour Christ, by its strength thou didst manfully overthrow the tyrants and all their might as the champion of the faith, while convicting the idols on godliness openly, thou didst strengthen the faithful in faith, godly-minded George. Wherefore, as is meet, thou hast received from the Lord's hand the crowns of thy victory having striven in martyrdom. O prize winner, great martyr George, intercede with Christ our God that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Like that widow's two mites, I present to thee songs of praise and thanksgiving as right and due for all of thy kindnesses. O my lady, for thou in truth art my shelter and help, my protection and swift defense, ever drawing me out of temptations and sore distress. Wherefore, being rescued from all them that afflict me, as though from the very midst of a great furnace all ablaze, I cry to thee with all my heart. O Theotokos, help me and pray that thy Son and God forgive my many sins, for thy, thine unworthy servant, have thee as mine only hope. Out of love for thine image thou didst stand fixed to the cross, O compassionate one, and the nations melted away, for thou art my strength and my boast, O thou who loves mankind. Holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. Thou bestowest thy glorious and venerable protection and help on all who praise thee, O all-blessed George, Thou hast boldness with the Lord. Holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. As thou hast invincible might given thee of the Holy One, O first fruit of his holies, by thy prayers quickly make the inroads of barbarians to cease. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A night of temptation covers me on all sides, and unheedingly thrusts me into the whirlpool of the passions, O George. 
but forestall it and save me. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone holds in thy womb him that holds together the whole world. Thou alone, all pure Thotokos, gave birth to him that is apprehended in incomprehensibility. Thou hast come, O my Lord, as a light into the world, a holy light turning from the darkness of ignorance those who hymned thee with faith. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. Putting to fight the demon's savage array and employing the weapon of the cross as a divine spear, thou didst pierce them through, felling to the earth the gloomy leaders of their ranks. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. Strong in the strength of the Almighty, O George, and guided by the providence that pilots all, thou didst preserve the ship of thy soul from the billows, bringing it into the harbour of life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O saint, thou sayest the evil doer, why hopes thou to separate me from the love of my Christ with flatteries. It were easier to cook a stone, or to ride on the sea, or heat the sky with arrows. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all blameless lady, hurl down the haughty heretics who rantlessly assail the orthodox people, for thou, being the mother of God, has power to act that concurs with thy will. A tempest of thoughts has overtaken me and draws me down to, into the depth of immeasurable scenes. But make haste, O good pilot, and lead me up as thou didst the prophet, and save me. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. While surrendering thy body to punishments, thou keeps thy soul unhurt, O all-blessed George, for thou hast the protection from on high, as thy provident guardian in woes. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. By thy prayers make the Master ever gracious to them that keep thy memorial with longing, and preserve them unharmed from the raging of a visible and invisible enemy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Seeing thy courage from on high, the heavenly intelligences were amazed at how thou overthrews with weapons of hand-to-hand -hand combat the fleshless enemy who anciently tripped up our ancestors in paradise. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With an ineffable weaving, O all-pure, by the good pleasure of the Father and the Divine Spirit, thou hast woven a purple robe for the King of all, who without undergoing change or confusion clothed himself in thy flesh. As we the faithful flee for refuge unto That we all may cry, rejoice, O holy, great martyr George. Thou hast proved to be a great protector on the earth, O servant and friend of the Lord, for thou ever shelterest and savest the faithful people, O glorious martyr. Therefore, with faith and longing, we cry to thee, O much suffering George. Rejoice, thou through whom the world is illumined. Rejoice, thou through whom the soldiery shines. Rejoice, deliverance of the captive faithful. Rejoice, swift help for them that are shackled. 
Rejoice, height, for those who in faith run to thee with fervor. Rejoice, riches of those who long for thee in joy and afflictions. Rejoice, for of kings thou art the rampart. Rejoice, for in battles thou grantest the victory. Rejoice, star giving light to those sailing the sea. Rejoice, deliverer from every misfortune. Rejoice, thou to whom every faithful man flees. Rejoice, thou through whom the artificer is honored. Rejoice, O holy great martyr George. Rejoice, O holy great martyr George. The three youths in Babylon, having put to mockery the tyrant's command, cried out amid the flames, Blessed are thou, O Lord God of our fathers. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. Longing for spiritual things alone, and delighting only in the good things stored up in hope, thou didst reckon things present as a dream, O blessed George, crying out, O supremely praised God of our fathers, Blessed are thou, o holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. Thou mayst thy mind governor of the passions, O glorious martyr, for the most excellent law of God has power over all creation, so that by divine grace the better way may vanquish the movements of that which is worse. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, thy ardent God, what love, O all blessed George, how that thou didst reckon the bliss of riches as dust, crying, I deem the whole world, though it were gold, to be unworthy of compare with the love of the Master of all. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin Mother of God, break the pride of the barbarians, put the counsel of the impious into subjection to our faithful hierarchs, and magnify the horn of the Orthodox in glorious deeds of courage. O earth and all things that are therein, Ye seas and all you fountains, you heavens of heavens, light and darkness, cold and heat, you sons of men and priests, bless ye the Lord and supremely exalt him unto the ages. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. With the road of thy sacred words thou drives off the demons strong, and from their ruin thou didst free the flocks of the faithful who sing to Christ. Holy works, bless you the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. As thou hadst thy gaze fixed on heaven, the morning light dawned upon thee, even as God had promised. For while thou wast yet praying to him, he appeared before you, crying to you, I come to thee as a defender, Cast aside all fear, and be courageous unto the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Christ proved thine attack to be fearful to the wicked and boastful captains, for thou didst destroy their imaginations like a spider's web. O Saint George, crying out, I supremely bless thee, O Christ, Unto the ages, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thy child, O pure virgin, has destroyed the restless flow and corruption of death, and has granted life to all men who praise and supremely exalt him as the God and Lord of all, unto all the ages. Thy childbirth was shown to be without corruption. God came forth from thy loins bearing flesh and was seen on earth and dwelled among men. Wherefore, O Theotokos, we all magnify thee. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. Thou hast gone up into the mount of martyrdom, O prize winner George, and hast received a crown from the hand of the Lord. This is the reward of the martyrs, wherefore as is meet we all magnify thee. O holy great martyr George, pray to God for us. Thou 
Thou hast dispensed the loosing of transgressions, Thou drives infirmities far from my body, and Thou makes me perfectly whole and sound, O prize winner, wherefore I embrace Thy likeness with longing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since Thou inhabits heaven, O prize winner, and stands at the throne of the King of all, send down that splendor which scatters the cloud of scenes upon me, who with longing have woven this canticle for thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Son, begotten before the ages of the unbegotten Father in the same form, thou art come now in the last times to the Virgin by the Holy Spirit, and becoming poor in the flesh, thou hast deified mankind. O blessed trophy bearer George, with the streams of thine own blood, thou mightily didst quench the flame of delusion and error, destroying all the Pride, hereby glorifying Christ from the right hand of the Most High. Hast thou therefore been given crowns of life everlasting? and of divine incorruption. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, God, O hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, at the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist and of the holy all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and alive giving cross of the Lord and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cicerus the great, Brandon the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors, with the prayers of the holy martyrs, Asepsimus the bishop, Joseph the priest, Aitalaf the deacon of Persia, with the prayers of the holy great martyr George, the translation of whose holy relics in the new church in Lida we commemorate today, with the prayers of our holy mother, Venerable Winifred of Holy World in Wales, with the prayers of Saint Vulganius of Arras, Saint Ramald of Brackley, Saint Alarius of Wales, Saint Christiolus of Wales, with the prayers of Saint Tanglon of Scotland, Saint Gwenel and Saint Gwyndfarch, and all those with them whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. By the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us, and save us. Oh.